Today we are going to configure the DNS records in Spark Post. Spark Post provides you a sending domain record, bounce domain and tracking domain records. So let's start. On the dashboard, click on configurations. And here you have three sections, sending domains, bounce domains and tracking domains. You can add different domains for each category or you can add the same domain. It's up to you. But adding the same domain may cause some issues which we will discuss later in the video. So we will start with the sending domains. Click on the add sending domain button at the bottom. And now scroll down and write down your root domain here. Then click save and continue. Now this prompt asks you if you want to apply a strict or relaxed alignment. So strict alignment is when your sending domain and bounce domain are same. Relaxed alignment is when your sending and bounce domain are different. We recommend using a relaxed alignment because when you set up the same domain for sending and bounce, you will not be able to receive emails on your domain. The emails will be going to Spark Post. That's why we set up different domains or use a subdomain for the bounce domain. So here select no and click save and continue. And here we have a txt dkim record to verify the sending domain. Let's go to the DNS provider. My DNS provider is Cloudflare. So I go to the DNS tab. Now I go to records and here I can add a new record by clicking on add record. So copy the host name and select type txt. Write down the host name here and now copy the record value and add it in the content field. Finally click save. So the record is added, we check the box and click verify. At first it didn't get verified so we try again. And on the second try it got verified. So you have to try multiple times if you do not see it verified at the first click. Now moving on to the bounce domain. Click on bounce and here we write a subdomain. So there are various reasons why we add a subdomain. The first one is that we do not want to go with a strict alignment which is your sending and bounce domain are same. And secondly, if you have a previously added CNAME record with your root domain as a host, then you cannot add your root domain to bounce domain. And even if you do not have an existing CNAME record with the root domain as host, you will have to add a subdomain for tracking domain because that is also a CNAME record. So to avoid all this confusion, we simply add the subdomains for bounce and tracking. So I will write down bounce before my root domain to make a subdomain and then click save and continue. And here we have a CNAME record. We add it to the DNS provider. Select the type CNAME and now copy the host name. Add it in the name field. Copy the value added in the target field and turn our proxy because when it is enabled the traffic goes to Cloudflare server instead of your email server which causes authentication issues. Now save this. So the bounce domain is also added. Check the box. Click verify bounce. And it didn't get verified so we try again. And it got verified on the second try. Again, if you do not see it verified, try multiple times or wait for a while. Next one is the tracking domain. So as I mentioned earlier, we use subdomains for the CNAME records to avoid conflicts. So I will add track before my root domain to make it a subdomain. 
and then click save and continue and now we add the CNAME record to the DNS provider select the type add the host name and now add the value and turn our proxy now we check the box and click verify domain so it didn't get verified so we will try again here it is saying something went wrong so let's try one more time not yet verified so it says that your record is invalid so let's see if we added the correct values and yes we added correct values not yet verified so let's try to refresh the page because refreshing the page updates the server and now the record is verified so remember if you are not able to verify it you have to try multiple times or try refreshing the page or wait for some time and it will get verified so as you can see here the sending and bounce domains are highlighted with gray this indicates domains are authenticated and verified so sending domain is also highlighted with gray tracking is also highlighted with gray if it was not verified there would have been yellow highlighted text saying unverified so spark post records are added but spark post doesn't provide you with a dmark record dmark record is important to build trust with email servers and without dmark your emails are at a risk of being flagged as spam to protect your email communication you must add the dmark record and dmark provides you with the policies and rules for the emails that fail to pass authentication check where those emails will be going and what further actions you want to take based on the dmark reports so if the email delivery services are not providing the dmark value there is no need to worry you can use dmarkdkm.com tool to generate a custom and effective dmark value so go to dmarkdkm.com and here you can write down your domain name click check and here the tool gives you a suggested value this value has the proper destinations for the emails where the emails will be going and it provides you the initial monitoring but you can implement a strict policy based on the dmark reports you can sign up here and have actionable insights on your DMARC reports to take further actions. And now we will add this DMARC record to our DNS provider. Select the type. Copy the record name. Add it here. Copy the value. Put it in the content field and then save. Now we have added all records to our DNS provider and our domain is now secure and you can now enjoy a safe and secure email communication. If your Spark Post records do not get authenticated after 48 hours, it means there might be a misconfiguration in your DNS setup. If you are unable to find out where the problem lies, you can either contact Spark Post support team or you can contact a DMARC DKIM expert to help you out. I have left the link in the description. You can go to the link and schedule a meeting with one of our experts. And we are more than happy to help you. So guys, this was it for today. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on latest content. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.